What is going on everyone? It's Johnny here with Trader X. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful Friday today. And as you guys can tell, the Nasdaq is selling off hard, right? And this shouldn't come as much as of a surprise because we called it out that the Nasdaq is starting to use the 180 day EMA as a resistance, right? So before when it had this big run, it was able to make higher highs and higher lows riding the EMA up. And now that we finally broke below the EMA, we validated it as a resistance right around here. And then yesterday as it picked up to the EMA, it ultimately got rejected, right? So that's why we haven't seen this big sell-off. And so today was a green day for me. I made money off the sell-off, $83 on SQs. And these were my filled orders, right? So you could see exactly where I bought in at what time and my price points and where I sold out. But yeah, to keep it pretty simple, the market was open right around here. So it had a huge sell-off. And what I wanted to wait for was for this thing to become a little more overbought. So as this thing was continuing to sell off, I was only in SQs with a small position size. Then ultimately as this thing peaked up, I found value for it to, I personally thought it was a little more overextended, right? So as it picked up, you see the MACD RSI, it's all indicating signs that it could start to fall. So I got in with an initial position and decided to average up as it broke below the support. And as it continued to fall, I was able to cut my trade right around here. I sold out of everything. And so obviously it continued to sell a little more before it's picking back up now. But I think we might see another fall here, to be honest. Because the market is acting very, very bearish today, right? And you don't ever want to try to predict the reversal um, to try to find the bottom and ride this momentum up. Because it's so much harder to make money when the direction isn't in your favor, right? So as this thing's continuing to sell off, we'll see where it goes on the day. I personally think it'll continue to sell off, but it obviously can recover. Doesn't mean it has to, right? Direction is not in its favor, like I said. And looking on the bigger time frames, you know, this thing still has margin to sell off. It is at a support level, right? A critical support level. If it were to break below the SMA, we could see a big fall. So that is something I wanted to keep you guys aware of. If you want to see exactly where I bought in and bought out, I'll show you right now. So let me apply this. And so you will see that I made majority of my money on one trade, right? So it looks a bit messy, but I was pretty much just scalping it with $2,000 as it was pushing up, pushing up. Then once it found this big push down, right, I viewed it to be very attractive as it was riding the EMA line up. So I got in with $2,000, averaged up, and ended up cutting everything around this area. So that is exactly how I made $83 today when the market was selling off. So if you guys learned something from this video, if you guys are new to the channel, please drop a like and consider subscribing. But other than that, I hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day and a good weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday's recap where my brother will be taking over. But take care until then. See you guys.